This video will review the derivatives of some standard functions. So from our previous video, we'll remind ourselves that the definition of a derivative, dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, or d dx of, the, of f of x, the derivative operator acting on our function of x, could also represent as f prime of x, its first derivative, is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h, minus f of x divided by h, or it's the instantaneous rate of change of f of x at the, that value of x. All right, so let's try to figure out what the derivative is for a pretty straightforward function here. So we have f of x equals 3x squared. All right, so what's f prime of x? What's the slope of this function at any given value of x? All right, so we'd say the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 times x plus h squared, because that's f of x plus h is 3 times x plus h squared, minus 3, uh, or minus f of x, which is 3x squared, so we got that there, divided by h. Okay, this polynomial multiplied out gives us 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 3x squared. So we've got this 3x squared cancels with that 3x squared. The yellows are canceling corresponding to each other. And each of the remaining terms here has some, uh, has some multiple of h. So I'm canceling a single h from this numerator and denominator and canceling this from h squared to h. So here I'm down to taking the limit as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h. So that limit is just this term goes to 0, and this term stays the same. So that limit evaluates to 6 times x. So we would say the first derivative of 3x squared, or derivative with respect to x of 3x squared, is equal to 6 times x. So anywhere on the function 3x squared, its slope, if we want to know its instantaneous rate of change, or the slope of its tangent line, that's going to be equal to 6 times x. Okay, so that was fine. We can do that, and we can do that for a handful of functions, but we don't want to do this every time. This will get very time-consuming very quickly if we have anything but a very simple function to work with. So what we need are some rules to help us speed this process up and make it a lot uh, quicker to deal with. So what we have over here on the right are the rules for some common types of functions and what their derivatives are going to be. Okay, first up, a constant function. So a constant function doesn't change as x varies. So the first derivative with respect to x of a constant is going to be equal to 0. It, x doesn't affect it, it's independent of x, where a is just some real number here, like 2 or 3 or negative four half or negative four thirds or uh, e pi any real number so those are constant slope is zero they don't change for some polynomial in x things that look like x to the n that's what we did here and you'll notice it obeys a rule that looks like this first derivative with respect to x of x to the n is n times x to the n minus one so here we have uh, x squared, and then n times x to the n minus 1, that would be 2 times x. So we have 6 times x once we multiply that times 3, but 3 times 2x gives us the derivative of 3 times x squared. Okay, exponential, uh, the easiest derivative to do, it is its own derivative. Derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. For logarithms, the derivative of log x is equal to 1 over x, a special case to keep in mind there. And our trig functions, sine and cosine, the derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the derivative of negative sine is negative cosine, the derivative of negative cosine is sine. If you keep taking derivatives, eventually you get back to itself again.